Not long after the town was founded in 1877, Mineral Well's terrible-tasting, foul-smelling water was discovered underneath. But besides serving as a laxative, some said the water's combination of sodium, magnesium, sulfates, lithium, and other minerals solved all sorts of medical problems. Our town was founded on the idea that our water healed all that ails. And if it didn't, people came here and they came back because they would get, go home and get sick again. They'd come back, they'd feel really good again. Tour guide Robin Fletcher says that meant big business for investors and T.B. Baker, who opened his hotel in 1929, just a couple of weeks after the stock market crash. But this hotel was just too grand and too magnificent not to be successful in a town where the water healed all that ailed, supposedly. And so, unlike some tourist spots, they came to drink, not avoid the water, and come they did by the thousands, the famous and the ordinary, all wanting the miracle cure. People like Judy Garland, Barbara Stanwyck, and Clark Gable enjoyed the steam rooms, workout equipment, and soaking in mineral baths. Even Bonnie and Clyde dropped in. Notice the carpet ends and you've suddenly got floor you have to walk on and be heard. Past a set of double locking doors. There was a reason for that. Bonnie and Clyde had this whole area that was for their whole entourage. Right now we're walking into the, the old ballroom. It's called the cloud room. And at one time, it was a gorgeous place. Which sits high above the streets of Mineral Wells, a place where one very intoxicated woman met her death. She thought she could make it to the swimming pool, so she walked right over here, stepped up, stepped over, and stepped off. And legend has it, this is the exact spot where that woman landed, not even close to the swimming pool, and that woman was killed. So prohibition did not mean the only liquid flowing here was crazy water. Hotel manager Jane Catrett says there was always plenty of high-class prostitution, seances, and alcohol. Mr. Baker was, was sort of an alcoholic, and uh, he liked to have his booze right handy. So he built this in here, and he put uh, knickknacks on it and that sort of thing, but Hidden back there is his liquor cabinet. The sun has set on a vacant Baker Hotel for almost as long as it was open and booming, about 35 years now. But one day, just maybe, there will be a resurrection in store for this beautiful piece of the spirit of Texoma. Daryl Franklin, KFDX 3 News.